A child dies from malaria every two minutes. And annually, the disease claims the lives of 400,000 people, according to the World Health Organization. Two-thirds of the deaths are children under five in Africa. However, these deaths are set to hopefully reduce, as the world's first malaria vaccine, known as Mosquirix, was recommended for widespread use by the WHO on Wednesday. Today is that day, an historic day. Today, WHO is recommending the broad use of the world's first malaria vaccine. This recommendation is based on results from an ongoing pilot program in Ghana, Kenya, and Malawi that has reached more than 800,000 children since 2019. Health officials say more than 4,000 children have benefited from the trial program of the vaccine, which launched in 2019 in Ghana, Kenya, and Malawi. The vaccine has reached over 800,000 children and has reportedly demonstrated that it is safe and significantly reduced deadly severe malaria by about 30 percent. The African Vaccine Regulatory Forum, convened by WHO, will support national authorities to fast-track the regulatory approvals to introduce this vaccine in the countries where it is needed. This is an excellent opportunity, too, to explore production on the continent of a vaccine that will benefit generations of Africans. In September 2019, Kenya's Ministry of Health launched the malaria vaccine in Bungoma County, one of the eight counties with the heaviest burden of malaria in the country. Malaria remains one of the top 10 causes of death in Kenya and a leading killer of children under five. WHO recommends that the malaria vaccine be provided in a schedule of four doses in children from five months of age for the reduction of malaria disease and related burden. Clinical trials have shown the vaccine offers a 39% protection against malaria in newborn children between the ages of 5 and 17 months. With the RTSS vaccine and other anticipated changes in the malaria business model, we expect to see greater impacts on the malaria burden in Africa in the very near future. Um, the vaccine duration of protection is sufficient to cover the most at risk period for uh, children of getting severe disease and dying um, how long will it be how long will it take to scale it up well recalling what dr tedros director general said already 800,000 children have received it and a lot more are on the way to receiving it however um, the next few months will be critical in terms of defining the uh, financing mechanisms to ensure that um, with the current production capacity, all those children that can benefit do benefit from, from this vaccine. The financial resources will be required, and uh, it is a great opportunity to show that success in having a new malaria vaccine um, is also a great opportunity for global solidarity, generating further resources to ensure that all African children that can and should benefit from this vaccine do get this vaccine in the hopefully not too distant future. The malaria vaccine was developed in Africa by African scientists with the help of British drug manufacturer Glatso SmithKline and other partners over the past 30 years. Leangari for Monzo TV. Mm -hmm.